Hello guys, finally we are back to the rehearsing room so I can play loud as much as I want, not like before. And I want to show you this exercise, it's really gonna help you to improve the movement between your right and left hand. And also to make your playing really smooth, it will give you this kind of smooth movements. Because sometimes not like you're playing strong and something like that, no, but like keep your playing smooth. and. Actually, it will give really nice movement for your left hand and right hand. So, and it's gonna be like it's really important to memorize the shape or the form actually for my left hand. All the time, I played like two strings, uh, two uh, strings together actually. So, I'm gonna start with the lower E string and A string. And on the lower E string, I'm gonna do like the first fret with my index, then the second fret with my middle finger. Then I'm gonna move to the A string with my ring finger, third fret, and with my binky on the fourth fret, A string. So it's actually, it's like, okay, again, and if you notice my right hand movement all the time, alternate picking, so all the time my movement, the same is gonna stay. Then I'm gonna move fret forward, again fret forward, keep it going, till the 12th fret. So now I know like my pinky on the 12th fret, so I'm gonna stop, okay? And if you notice, that's really also important. I'm not taking my fingers away. So when I play the, the lower E string, see, notice the index, middle, they stay. Then ring, pinky, they stay also on the second string. Okay? So all the time staying. I'm not leaving the strings. It's not important the speed here. Actually, it's important like I'm getting the clean notes and my fingers staying right on the neck. See? And the movement also of my right hand is really important. It will help you to improve or actually to understand the space and memorize the space between the strings actually. Because if you're not like all the time playing two strings at the same time, not at the same time, but you know what I mean, like I'm playing first string, second string. Then now I'm gonna move to the A string, and I'm gonna play like the A and D string. So the first, second on the A string, then I move to the D with my third and fourth finger. Moving forward. Moving forward. smooth then also to the D string and G and it's really also important like the position of your thumb all the time to keep it behind your middle finger actually okay so you don't keep it make it like this no I'm all the time like this so so it will help the movement of your left hand actually and it will help you the movement because if I will make it like this it's my arm gonna move gonna be in the wrong shape so all the time is important the thumb is straight and as I said the movement of my right hand actually also is really important so I'm doing like 
like again I say it again first second third fourth so index and middle finger first string then to the second string I'll do the third and the fourth okay so this shape and all the time I'm moving it forward and then moving to the next string so I did it the first on the E on A then A D then D and G then I will move to the G and B and as I said keep it smooth then here to the B and E and also you can do this exercise just to improve if you want to work or to make your right hand movements smoother or faster just keep the same position so I'm gonna do like just on E on A string so lower E string and A string so and I, I stay on my position not moving forward like I do it like for several times Then if I want to move it forward, but you see it's just I'm trying to focus on my right hand, how the movement of my right hand and the harmony number between the right and left hand actually, how the movement it is working. As I said, and you move string to the next string, and so on. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you like it. And don't forget to subscribe and share. And see you next time. Bye bye.